So this is it, Cup Final Day for our man, Mr. Smith. And there's some big names in this bomb and feeder league. The Pickerings, Alan Scott on, Nick Speed, and of course a whole host of other local experts to know exactly what they're doing. Here comes our hero. The big question now is where will he be sitting for the next few hours? And more to the point, how will he do? So we're here, match day, and I've got to say I'm nervous. I've drawn, uh, drawn peg 38 on loco, which apparently is quite a good peg, I don't know. Um, what the, the tactics going to say is exactly what we did the other day in practice, but I'm really looking forward to it. The conditions, awful, awful conditions for fishing in, but I think the fishing is going to be very good because of the conditions, so let's, uh, let's see how we get on. We're literally 30 seconds away um, from all in. Any minute now, keep your fingers crossed for me. What was that? I thought they shouted all in there. Hey, up, here we go. Right, come on, E. Do not let Nick down. Make that first cast count. That is a great cast. <coughs> right. Incidentally, yeah, that was a nice cast. Incidentally, not only have I drew peg 38, it's quite a special peg, apparently, because it's the golden peg. And listen to this. So if I win on this peg, I win an extra £500. And the owner, anybody who knows Neil Grantham, who's a bit of a character owns Lindholm Lakes, has said, well, I'll tell you what, eh? as, you've drawn, as you've drawn it, I'll up it to 1000 quid. So obviously he's quite keen on keeping hold of his money. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can take some money off Neil today. That would be lovely. This first 15 minutes is crucial. So what I'm looking for here, as Nick was explaining to me the other day, I'm looking for either fish in the swim, feeding, which hopefully I'll just get a proper pull round and bite, or I'm looking for fish this side. So I'll probably have maximum of two casts this first 15 minutes. So I've, I've started my stopwatch exactly as he said, so I'll give it seven to eight minutes. If I have nothing in the two casts, I'll unclip it, pull probably two rod lengths off, cast it again and see if I can get fish a bit further out in the hope that I'll build up some sort of weight and rotate my lines exactly as the same as what he's told me to do and then in the last sort of hour and a half I'll come down here because this looks a really good margin I'm going to feed this you got allowed to put little balls of micros in by hand and that's exactly what I'm going to do down there that's a really good margin spot that I'm hoping fingers crossed so let's see how we get on for the first sort of 10-15 minutes I've just had on my second cast, I had the first cast, left it seven minutes, as, exp as I said I was going to do. And then I just had another cast, and then it's literally gone as the feeder was settling. It feels like an F1, to be fair. The chap next door to me has just had a skimmer on his first cast, so... <coughs> I mean, we've been fishing five minutes and I'm already getting worried. Actually, this doesn't... Doesn't feel too bad of fish, you know. Speedy be taking the mick out of me now. He said he would have had this in about 15 minutes ago. That's quite a nice F1, or it's a carp, that. That's a mirror carp. And that is a great start. And got hooks just got caught in the net. Look at that. What a great start, little mirror carp. Probably about four pound. If we just blow the whistle now, it'd be brilliant. What great start. Right, come on. Another go. Let's get fresh bait on. In, squeeze the pallets really tightly. It's amazing how quick they'll come off. Well, as I say, we had a bite within about 30 seconds. Let's get it straight back out, same spot. Come on. So we're 15 minutes in. I'm on my third cast. Uh, I've had a few indications, uh, but... You know, I'm going to give it another two minutes and I'm going to have another recast because there's too many indications not to have had a bite now. So the guy to my left has had two fish. Um, I think a, a decent F1 and a skimmer. And I've had that four pound carp. So I'll say we'll give it two minutes, wind in, rechuck it. And hopefully 
if them fish are, you know, if we can do a good cast in the same place, them fish will just home straight in on that feeder and we'll have a bite quite quickly. Well, let's, let's just see. Jesus, this is getting worse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have one more cast in about two minutes time because what's happening now is I'm having liners but I'm having no indication but what I'm doing is with me um, with my corn line I'm feeding it over the top of this line at about 15 meters so the thought being I know it's early and I know Nick's gonna go mad but the thought being that if I'm having them indications them fish are not at 30 meters they might be at 15 meters or despite I've caught one so this is why I've got to have one more cast take me to the first hour mark I don't know what to do I'm, I'm confused already yeah no I'll do that I'll do that I'll do that one more cast two minutes time then I'll go on the um, bomb and corn line and that is having five minutes, literally five minutes. If it doesn't happen in five minutes, I'll go straight back out again. Because I think with that, because because they're not homing in on the feeder, as Nick was saying, there's li they're literally just going for that piece of corn that you put in there. If they don't go straight for it, they're, they're not there. And I've got completely got it wrong. Two minutes. So as I was just doing that piece of camera literally five seconds ago and said they're not out there, we're into one. So what do I know? I should just listen to Nick, shouldn't I really? Yeah, so I think we're into a, a little skimmer, I think. But a fish is a fish. He's come out of the net again. Nice little bream three quarters of a pound. That eel's got to go in the right hand net because you have to put these in different nets. Right, repeat. Have another go. That's all right. We're not a one hit, one fish wonder. Oh God. Okay, just pop the, washed it right on the top. So that's the first thing the fish can see. Nice dab of pallet. Just squeeze everything down, clean it off, and that's good to go. All right, let's get it back out. Oh, that's the one. This is so difficult. Headwind, fine. Tailwind, fine. Crosswind. They don't call it wind dome for nothing, do they? So I've just chucked that back out. I was well happy with how that's gone in. But what I have to remember, which I'm terrible at, is I get something going out there. So I've had two fish and I've had a few liners now and I forget what else is going on. That's my biggest problem. I need to remember that every time I have uh, I, ch I chuck out, I feed my other two lines in preparation for getting them going. I might fish them, I might not fish them. This just might go all day. I doubt it. But the last thing I need to do is, is this to dry up and have nothing to go to. So exactly the same as Nick said. So not loads of bait, maybe down here, three or four pieces of corn, three or four pieces of corn out there, every single cast, but there's that constant stream of bait going through the water. So hopefully, if this dries up, which I think it will at some point, if it dries up, I should be able to go straight on that line and catch one straight away. Right, so whatever happens now, no, not whatever happens. If I don't get a bite on this in two minutes, it's coming in and I'm gonna have a cast on that bomb feeder line. It's literally having five minutes maximum on that line. And if it's not, I'll go back out there again. Because I am having indications out there, but I really do think some of them indications are coming from 15 meters out. We'll soon find out, won't we? But this is the first cast I've had since the very first cast where I've not had any indications at all. So just to give you a insight into this lake, Loco. So there's 20 of us fishing this lake at the moment. Three sections, I think it is. There's six in my section on this bank. Now, if I could come third in that section, I'll be well happy with that. I'll be well happy. If I, if I can come middle field with these guys that do it every week, I'll be doing all right. 
but then again, I've got a good teacher, so it would only be down to him anyway. I can't say it's going to plan. Uh, I caught a cart very, very early on, second cast. Then I had a few bream, but I really, really am struggling now to get a bite on the feeder. I came in close. I had a couple of smaller fish on the, like I'm talking this sort of size, on the bombing uh, corn line, but then I've just had a six pound carp. So I think I'm third, fourth in section of eight people at the moment. Rob's just had a quick word with a few of the boys and uh, yeah, there's a few people have got six pounds. Guy down there has got nearly 30 pounds. So we certainly won't be catching him, but it's it's patchy you know as soon as you think you've got something going it dries up very very quickly i'm convinced this bomb and corn line is the one and as i said that's what i caught the last fish on we just got to keep persevering with it now i feel far more comfortable settling on this line as the match progresses than than fishing out there especially with the the the, 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 the wind is making it really really difficult uh, for, for somebody of my skill set anyway so we'll, we'll stay on this, we're going to give this another sort of 20 minutes, see if we can pick up another carp or two before we have to think about doing something else. Strange old feeling though, um, when you're in a match like this, that every time you look up, the guy to your left or the guy to your right has played a fish. So it, it's very uh, demoralising, because I know I ain't catching as what they've caught. So I'll tell you something, I'm absolutely freezing now. Whoa! I was just about to say how strange it is that you have two chucks, two bites, you've chucked it out twice more and not even had an indication. And I've chucked it out what would be the fifth time and I've got a fish on. I think this is a skimmer though, to be fair, but a bite is a bite. Yeah, this is a skimmer. But don't matter it, I'll keep plugging away at it. I'll say it's a skimmer. I think it's a skimmer. How strange. It's not, it's an F1. It's an F1. Just came swimming straight in. Right. Do your worst. Isn't it amazing when you have a few bites how good you feel? I feel like I've sorted, worked something out now. This is a. Every time it goes in, I'm just taking three minutes. I'm not getting carried away with myself. I've only had like four fish in like five casts. But every time it goes in now, within three to four minutes, the tip's going round and this feels like another F1. So if we can repeat this for the next hour and a half, that will be as good as gold. Just keep them coming. They're not big, they're not big F1s, but I wasn't catching a thing a minute ago. Okay. Oh, look at that. See how fat that is? Look at that! That's as fat as me! <laughs> Come on mate, get you in. So the run continues. Interestingly, the chap to my left, is it's dried up a little bit for him, and the chap to my right, it's dried up a little bit for him, but the people either side of them are catching. <sighs> Mind you, they need to stop catching to let me catch up a bit. Keep chucking two pound at three pound in every ten minutes oh, it's a much much better f1 look at that thing that must be four and a half five pound that's massive <laughs> chuck one of them in the net every five minutes that'll do us won't it we won't be as far behind as we think Absolutely on the money again. Though. Tell you what, I'm, I'm proper putting this down the plug on that. So this is why I'm catching a few. I think the major thing that has made the biggest difference this last hour is this wind dying down a little bit, me going out a teeny bit further, basically copying. I'm not, not going to say it was good angling, basically copying off what everybody else was doing, getting out a bit further, but being able to fish accurately that has made a massive difference and i feel every time it goes in now within three or four minutes it's going round the ch the, ch the chap two down from me he is absolutely pulling now he's he, he's pouring it out 
and every time it goes in that was my quickest bite by a mile and but him every time he puts it out by the time he's got the rod on the rest it's gone round I'll tell you what keep chucking these in the net and I'll be well happy yeah these are the ones we want mate yeah it's caught how big you can that is? About eight ounces. Let's go out the clip. Let's come out the clip. That's why it's not hitting the clip, right? It's come out the clip. Well, that's really bad up. Because now I don't know what they are. Try, try again. I've made a right schoolboy area. Um, I've caught them five or six fish, one after the other, on the bounce. I've then chucked it out and for some reason it didn't hit me clip and for whatever reason that happened is my line has come out of my clip. Now what I should have done and what any good angler would have done is they would have marked the line and I didn't mark my line. So I've just had two chucks to exactly where I think it is and it clearly isn't because I've not had another bite. So what I need to do is if I don't have another bite on this in the next three or four minutes I need to probably take up another rod length and rechuck it and find the spot. I know, clearly I know my spot on the far bank, but what I think is 30 metres, it might have been clipped up at 32, 33 metres, and that can make all the difference sometimes. So that is, oh, I did have a little indication, and that's my first indication I've had. So that, that's incredibly frustrating, but lessons learned for next time, that. I can't tell you how um, <coughs> disappointed I am with myself, I've gutted that. I cannot find that spot again, or it would seem I can't find that spot again. I think I'm there or thereabouts. But I've, I've moved the clip three times now within a yard or so where I think it is and I, I, can't, I can't get a bite now. That is really, really disappointing. Messed up there big time. So I've hooked what I think is a much better fish. 15 minutes for the end. Certainly feels a lot better. It's just kiting right into uh, make you swim next door. So I'm just desperately trying to keep it off balance low and coming in. So I've managed to um, get it relatively close in now. Out of uh, my mate's swim next door be great to see this one going I tell you come on we should need to keep it as low in the water as we can but the last thing I need to do is have this thing splashing on top oh there you go it's not as big as I thought to be fair but It'll absolutely do. So oh, we needed that. Let's see if we can get one more before the end, because that could make all the difference to the section. Hey! Oh, poo. There we go, that's it. All done. Do you know what? It was a very, very enjoyable match. Uh, despite getting soaked wet through, the sun's come out now and do you know what? Typical Lindome, it's giving you a really, really nice day's fishing. You know, it, it's mid November. This bomber feeder league's brilliant because it shows that anybody like myself that's not really tuned into match fishing all the time, fishing 16 meters a pole, can come with a couple of rods and have a really fantastic day's fishing and compete against. You know, you've got people like Nick Speed, you've got five times world champion Alan Scott on, two times world champion Tommy Pickering, ladies world champion Emma Pickering. They're all here and, and there's no other sport where you can come and fish with that sort of calibre of angler like you can this and it's been a really, really enjoyable day. So 
I'll give it another go next time and maybe be a bit more successful. But the lads are coming around in a minute to do the way. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. There you go. £50 in total. That's all right, isn't it? What a great day's fishing. Brilliant. Well, let's get them back. Everybody else can weigh in. Well happy with that.